What is going on guys? It's your boy Ed here, Supercar Ed here, with a brand new WWE Supercar video for today. If you guys enjoy what you always see, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. We got Royal Rumble tier right around the corner, so you guys don't want to miss a single episode of content coming your way next week on Wednesday. So guys, uh, I do want to talk about the brand new draft board pattern. That will be coming out to WWE Supercard real soon. We also will have uh, four King of the Ring rewards in this video with Wild Wednesday. I'm trying to work on number five. However, me and this guy Brian, we are going ham and ham on each other right now. I'm currently up 3-2 in the finals, but we keep going back and forth. He has just as good of a deck as I do, but uh, I think I just have a little advantage over him. Unfortunately, my uh, sandbag part and my Eve, I took my moments off my eve because i don't want to even bother with that coin flip it is a crappy coin flip just so you guys know and i think his cards lms cards are on the four or five hundred range mm -hmm. so it's kind of hard to judge but uh as long as they can call me the right calls i think we should be fine and we can have five king of the ring rewards in this video but we'll have to wait and see anywho now let's get into talking about what I want to talk about. If you guys noticed, there was an update today. Now, when you go into the help center, there's this thing called the draft board pattern. Now, I know a lot of you are like, what is this draft board pattern? Well, let me try to break it down for you guys. This pattern thing is in my MBA. This has been a thing in my MBA for a few years now. And uh, pretty much what it is, is as a, they have a thing called global pattern in my MBA. So what you guys do is, as a community, you guys try to help each other find this pattern. And usually, 90% of the time, they figure out the pattern as a community. It takes a few hours. It could probably take 20 hours. Usually, you get 24 hours to solve the puzzle. But I would say most of the time, it's solved within 10 hours. Supercard is a much bigger community than the NBA community. So it's going to be much easier to find this global pattern compared to my MBA's global pattern. So in my MBA's, as they have tiers from uncommon, well, common, all the way to star tier, or before that is pretty much elite tier, an epic, prime, an epic. The awards you could get is, uh, I think it's uncommon all the way to star at the moment. So you could potentially get a top tier card just for completing the pattern. And the patterns will look something like this if you guys want to see. See, this is what we call the global pattern. Your, bo your board would light up and then you would get a pack. And then you might get lucky, you might not. But it was just a free thing to do. And it was kind of cool. So this will be coming to WWE Supercard. However, with WWE Supercard, there's going to be a catch. And I don't know why they implemented this, because for a hobby season, this makes zero sense. Uh, but we'll get into it. Now, secret patterns are sometimes hidden on the draft board. Obviously, it's going to be every 24 hours. Unless Supercard is different, we'll have to wait and see. Global patterns are the same for everyone, while personal patterns are unique to each player. Again, I wouldn't mind if they gave two sets of rewards. However, it's this is where it kills. this kills it for me. Complete the global pattern, which obviously is going to be easy to do with the community that we have. To unlock your personal pattern. And then compete your personal pattern to receive your award. How the hell can you do that? Do you know how hard it is to get a pattern in my NBA? It is extremely tough. Alright? It is extremely tough. And then these guys want you to solve a global pattern and then figure out your very own pattern. And we're calling this a hobby season. This is where Supercard has lost the plot. I don't see the thing. And if, and if the pack doesn't give you anything good, then this honestly is worthless to do. Like, sure, it's there. If you figure it out, congratulations. But if the pack doesn't give you something good, what a waste. So I think that is dumb. They should have had a global award and then your own personal. They think they should have given out two awards for this because that would be kind of cool. However, that is just dumb. Supercard, get back to the drawing board because this isn't it, in my opinion. So you'll pull cards from the draft board to make sure you get the right pattern. Obviously, the one I showed you, that's an example of a pattern. But this is where being the pattern can just just annoying. 
if you choose the wrong card your pattern will be broken first off you don't even know the pattern so you don't even know if you're breaking the pattern or not you just don't know and uh it could take you hundreds and hundreds of resets to figure out the pattern and then you could probably do same pattern and then if you reset the board you're like you won't remember the pattern either it's just bullshit with this whole pattern thing and then of course you, you see uh it is a time limit limited time however usually it's 24 hours in my nba so but again the personal pattern is killing it for me i think it's dumb stupid and i think the supercard need to change this uh, i think they should just give two sets of rewards like if we're, if we're making this a hobby season why are we doing double the work in my nba like my NBA doesn't have to suffer through this but we have to suffer through this it's it's stupid uh you know, dumb. You implement something cool and then you you kill it before it's even implemented. Dumb. But anyways. So now we're gonna get into the Wild Wednesday and the King Room Awards and you'll also see me get Drew McIntyre as well for this video. Uh, I just wanted to share you guys what a what the pattern thing is going to be. I assume that this is going to release uh either this tier which is Royal Rumble tier on Wednesday. I, I assume it's going to be some Royal, Royal Rumble tier. And I assume the rewards will probably be, if it's not top eight base, it would be like Summer 19 to Royal Rumble tier. I guess it'll be something like that. But we'll have to wait and see. But anyways, guys, let's get into the King of the Rewards. Hopefully we can win this King of the Ring and get five rewards for you. Wow, Wednesday, Drew McIntyre, claim. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Alright, got your back, Carrie. What way? Nice report on. I'm gonna get a Brock for you from this pack. Hey, I don't know why. Don't. You get it for you, baby. I promise. You played 22 games this season. Promise, Harry. I promise. Damn. Damn, bro. That wasn't Brock. I'd have took that over yeah. what I got. You scored three times, dude. Yeah, a couple competitions. I got a primal. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We should definitely get the Drew McIntyre in this attack, guaranteed. We only need about 60k in points, maybe a little less than that. So, even with four attacks nonstop, we should definitely win this. This boost will even make it guaranteed more. All right, uh, guaranteed already with these boosts. We'll keep those as insurance anyways. It's already over, so when they call the up or down, it's over. There we go, the up has been called. We'll get rid of these and keep the down arrows just to get some more points. But we already got it, we got 72k already, so. Guaranteed, boom, 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 boom. Get a little more extra points. So we're looking at what? Uh, 135. So GG, Drew McIntyre is officially ours. Wasn't that terrible of an event. Very easy, as always. <laughs> and we have gotten Drew McIntyre, of course. All right, fellas, we got another, uh, while we wait for a giant to appear because they messed up completely, as you can see, they finally managed to time back down to 42 minutes so thank god for that that super car probably messed up there but anywho guys we have a king of the ring rewards to open up right here right now so let's go ahead and do that right now uh didn't meet k dot in the finals unfortunately he didn't have this deck strength to take me out he hit me up on twitter appreciate it bud uh hopefully you got what you needed in your king of the ring for the pro part Hopefully we get the F2 or F3 card that I've been wanting so bad. It's been so long. Probably get a Matt Riddle at this rate. All right. And a Ricochet. Not bad. It's an F1. So not bad. Uh, Jay Uso and, uh, oh, Masturbation. Right there. All right. Not bad. Could have been better. I love you, KDOT. <laughs> Thanks for uh, having fun with me in King of the Ring. Hey, uh, we actually won another King of the Ring. Shocker. I know, right? 
more King of the Ring wins. Now the question is, are we to get an, an F3 again? Are we to get an F2, an F1, a brand new card? Who knows? Let's see what we're going to get. All right. Pete Dunn. EC3. And an F1 Alexa Bliss. We'll take it. Absolutely, we'll take it. Lovely. Alright you guys, sorry if I sound a little down. I feel like I'm about to get a cold, so bear with me. Uh, we did win our King of the Ring again, so uh, let's get into it. Clean these rewards and see what we get. And, uh, Ivar, F3, cool, I'll take it, Shinsuke and Fandango, so, you know, that was good, I'm sorry, Jason, I love you, buddy, did he even energize, I don't even know, I, I was, he did energize, okay, so he stood awake all night trying to beat me, didn't work as planned, sorry, Jason, but I did it for Carlos, Carlos, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually going to fortify him right here, right now for you. There we go. F3 Ivar completed. My uh, second F3, I believe. I have so many F2s, that's why I can't always think straight. No, it's my third. Third, third. My apologies. Yeah. So, yeah. Go. Where... Moving up the list. I love it. <laughs> Alright, you guys. For that fifth King of the Ring, we won it in that next game. Thank God. Brian gave me one hell of a fight. Good game, bro. We did it for Carlos, though. Carlos, this is for you, bud. I love you, Carlos. Uh, so, let's see if we'll get something interesting. Hopefully, something decently good. But I'm not getting my hopes up. And uh, our first card cards be the Vanguard. And it's a Finn. It's my first Finn Balor, actually, which is shockingly surprise. But, yeah. Mm, single. Uh, at least I get the image, I guess. But, nah, it's a single. It sucks. I'll, I'll live. I'll live. But good game to Brian. 4-2 uh, victory. Love you, Brian. Good game, bro. You were a really, really tough opponent. Now, guys, to end off this video, I'm actually going to show you guys the leaked Royal Rumble in, uh, card that's been leaked. Uh, if you guys want to see what the card is going to look like for Royal Rumble tier, like the events, uh, Super Car Leaks on Twitter has leaked it. If you guys uh, follow him, you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, he actually has leaked this card, so shout out to Super Car Leaks for leaking this card. Enjoy. I'll see you on the next episode.